creepy friend horror story animated. Let's react to it, bro. Uh oh. I had a friend named Craig. Oh, I was what the? Since child they have a whole eye in the fire. But after not seeing each other for a while, we coincidentally ran into each other on the street when we became adults. So what were y'all doing on the street for y'all to coincidentally run into each other? I greeted him warmly, but he seemed different. I know that the? he had shaved his curly hair and strangely kept like his cancer. right hand behind his back. I tried to uh -oh. shake hands with him, but he never revealed fuck? his right hand, and instead extended his left hand. I asked him what was wrong with his hand, and he said, I don't use my right hand normal. I didn't think much of it and let it pass. From that day on, we often met and spent time together, but he always kept his right hand Okay, what's wrong with the right hand? I couldn't understand it, but I guessed that he had his reasons. Then, suddenly, I lost contact with Craig. I went to his house, but he had moved. It seemed like he had changed his phone number too. Why? Strange, but I thought he had just gone away. Where'd he go? However, Why the sometime did? later, the police came to visit me. They showed me a photo from a CCTV camera where I was seen talking to Craig. The police suspected Craig of kidnapping and killing a woman, and they were currently searching for him. Since only Craig's back was visible in the CCTV footage, they asked me for a photo of his face. I was shocked, but then I realized something. Craig always had a habit of looking around wherever he went. That's why I do that though. Sometimes he would suddenly turn around, showing me his back and not even looking at my face while talking. Oh, that's weird. At that time, I couldn't understand all those actions, but now I realized that he was trying to avoid CCTV cameras. I also remembered that I had never taken a photo of Craig. And whenever I tried to take his picture, he would get angry and cover his face. In the end, I did my best to describe his facial features to the police. The police left, and I was in shock. My friend was a criminal. But a few weeks later, I received another call from the police. They informed me that Craig had been arrested. And then, I heard the shocking truth. It turned out that Craig had cut off all the fingertips of his right hand to remove his fingerprints. He used only that hand to break into women's homes, commit crimes, and escape. That's why he always kept his hand hidden. It was then that I remembered, when I visited his house, I saw him training with a human-shaped punching bag, using only one hand to strike and subdue it. I had just thought he enjoyed exercising. It was sort of a rehearsal for a crime. That was all right. What the fuck did I just do? The convenience store. My girlfriend told me about two weeks ago. What the fuck is wrong with her eyes? Line at the convenience store with her friend in Chinatown, New York City. Chinatown. When a large, dapper-looking man approached them. Chinatown's everywhere. He Las Vegas, New York City, on how Los Angeles. And she said thank you, and they chatted for a little longer. The man explained that his suit was just a shabby Brooks Brothers suit, but. She noticed that he had all sorts of expensive jewelry on. When my girlfriend and her friend mentioned that they were students, he kept making assumptions about how they must be rich and that their parents were paying for everything. My girlfriend started feeling uncomfortable and tried to distance herself yeah, from him. Big ass forehead. He asked them if they had jobs and they told him no, as they were students. After that, he went on to tell them what he does for a living without being asked. He said, I do all sorts of odd jobs, this and that, but mainly, I have these guys that work for me. I find them off the streets. I feed them, and I give them a place to stay. I'm waiting to meet up with them now. He referred to them as his minions, which suddenly made something that seemed wholesome at first very unsettling. That's weird as fuck. And then no, mention he anybody has told minions. That <clears throat> he just had his wallet stolen and needed four hundred dollars for something. I don't remember the reason. He told them that he would pay them back later that So you're rich, you have a lot of jewelry, and you have a job, and you're asking people little girls, you're asking girls that have that are students that don't have a job for a hundred bucks. Weird as fuck. Weak, but he needed the money right that night. My girlfriend politely declined, and by this point she was really uncomfortable. Yeah. She started walking towards the door to leave and said, 
Nice to meet you, and good luck. They both walked outside and sat on a bench outside the convenience store. As they were sitting and discussing the strange interaction, they saw the man exit and stand about ten feet away, waiting for a few minutes, looking at his phone. He then met up with his two other men, and they chatted for a few minutes. The large man in the suit then walked in the opposite direction while the other two men walked into the store and started holding it up with knives. Absolutely shocked and frozen, my girlfriend and her friend watched as the cashier put her hands up and emptied out the cash That's register. A girl. The two men ran out of the store in the same direction the man in the suit had walked. They were both about to call the police but noticed that the cashier had already done so. They waited at the bench until two police cars showed up and then they walked in to tell the officers what they had just witnessed and tried to help identify the robbers and the man they had just met. I wonder if this is a common occurrence in terms of organized crime, paying homeless people to commit crimes and rob. That was it? Whack as fuck. Whack as fuck. That shit was whack as fuck. Hiking story. Last one, last one, last one. This happened only three weeks ago. I've thought about it often, and I know without a doubt, me and my patient were almost prey to a predator. Hey, I shit. work for my state. I work with people oh, with shit. substance Jeffrey abuse Dahmer? disorders, the mentally ill, and to a lesser degree, those with slight developmental delays. My role with the Del developmentally delayed delays. is similar to a lower-ranked social worker. One thing I have to verify is that the participant is able to achieve their own personal goals set for that year, similar to an IEP in public schools. What goals do they one have One of my to patients achieve? has a goal to walk and or hike at least one mile three times a week. Three when times I made my visit week? to her home, walking and hiking was what I needed to see her achieve. So she took us both on a walking and slight hiking trail no. nearby. Her and I are actually similar ages, ours being 40. Damn! As we were walking the trail, we get to a point that was much more isolated. We were no longer walking the trail that loops Is around that the neighborhood pond with many people, but we were on a trail that took us through the woods in a cotton field. Her and I were walking and talking when she suddenly stopped walking. I looked at her and just as she went to say, I have a bad feeling. I had an overwhelming feeling myself that someone was watching us. Due to her development delays, I felt more concerned for her welfare than my own. It's hard to explain, but I didn't feel fear. I felt a feeling of protection for her. I looked behind us because I heard the sound of leaves crunching and sure enough, a guy who looked to be in his 30s is suddenly coming out of the woods and he's the slowly fuck? creeping up towards us. There was no one else. What is he walking like this? For this guy to magically come out of the woods and creeping up, I knew whatever he wanted was nefarious. I told her to continue walking and gave her a head start. I don't know why I even did this, but I just completely turned myself around, stopped, and I looked straight at him. I just stared. I didn't say anything. He didn't say anything, but as Punch soon as we locked eyes, it was as if he realized, now they know I'm back here, because he froze and stopped walking towards us. I kept staring at him, and then I started to walk back towards my patients so he understood my eyes What do you do in that situation, him. though? Then as I walked backwards, I looked over to see my patient, looked back at him, and he disappeared as fast as he came, back into the woods. If he had simply wanted to walk the nature trail, why did he stop as soon as I turned around and stared at him? Why didn't he just continue walking and pass us? It was evident to me that this guy was waiting and watching for a woman or women to come down the isolated trail. The fact that he emerged from the woods when he did made it clear that he had been hiding and stalking. I will forever be convinced that my patient's bad feeling and my own feeling of being watched saved one or both of us from whatever that man had planned. Crazy, y'all spooky.